So you want to start selling digital products online. So you want it to be set and forget. So when someone buys, they get that product automatically and all you have to worry about is receiving the money because everything else is automated. So in today's video, we're gonna look at how you can start selling digital products online and start building a more passive income model for your business. So let's get started. First thing you gotta do is think of a product. Now you may already have an idea, but this could be something that you can simply upload for people to download, or it can be a resource they get access to online that uh, no physical product is shipped. Some great ideas for these are things like information products such as PDF eBooks or Kindle books, for instance. And it could be any form of media. It could be video, audio, such as music. It could be uh, you know, audio books, such as things you find on Audible, or any sort of imagery such as stock photos. But it can also be an online course or some kind of information like that but uh, you can also sell other things such as templates photoshop templates uh, effects actions for photoshop or any sort of software you can even create software itself or plugins themes for websites uh, anything you can think of that is digital anything that's a file you can upload for someone to download or any kind of online resource you can sell access to so consider that what idea you think is going to be best for you what you think you can offer and what will sell and work from there now the next step is to find a way to actually sell your product this means finding a platform online that will deliver the product while you receive the money so you can there's a number of ways you can do this you can find a service online or build a complete website now some of the ways you can build a website is to sign up for something like squarespace or shopify although you may need add-ons for shopify or possibly even squarespace to sell digital products but another thing you can do is if you're on wordpress or you know your way around wordpress is to install woocommerce now there's a few steps to making this happen so i'll pop a link below to a woocommerce article which shows you how to actually get started with WooCommerce, but the actual adding of the product is pretty simple. So once your store is set up on WordPress, you can log in and head down to products on the left here and click add new to create a new product. Simply give your product a name such as ebook one, whatever you want to call it. You can give it a long description here. You can add a short description which goes next to the photo such as this is an ebook. And then when you get to this information here, it says simple product, you can create a virtual product so there's no shipping involved and then downloadable. And what happens is you simply give the product a price, you can say $20, uh, you can put it on sale and you simply click here to add a file, give the file a name and upload the file and you can simply sell from there. You can also upload something like Dropbox and uh, I'll sort of show you how you mention a, a link uh, how to set that up in the description below. And once you set that up and you publish your product, your file will be downloadable to anyone who purchases. Now, this is something I've been able to set up on my website at creatorimpact.com for my template packs. And whenever someone buys them, they simply head into their account. And once they're there, head to the downloads tab and they can go ahead and download the files that they've bought. Now, understandably, setting up that whole website and e-commerce software can be a bit complicated. So you can instead choose to simply use a service such as Sells, eJunkie, or even Payhip. So these means that you don't even necessarily have to have a website. You can just simply have a social media presence or a YouTube channel and link straight off to your uh, product page from there. Now in the past, I've used Payhip and it's a very simple uh, software to use. And I'll run you through how to do that quickly just now. Now all you need to do is head to payhip.com or use the link below and go and sign up to get started. And then you'll get a dashboard that looks like this. And you can go up here to products and click add new to create a product. You simply choose the type of product you want, which is a digital product. Upload your file and I believe there is a five gig limit. Give your product a title, a price, add a cover image and set things out the way you want so you can choose whether it's invisible or unlisted and there's even a few advanced options such as if it's an ebook you can save the money on tax and a few other things such as adding a few pages and previews and limiting the number of times people can sign up etc etc now when you're done filling that all out it'll look something like this where you have all your information your pricing everything in there and that way once you've published this page down the bottom you can then get a page like this. And when you sell this, the customer gets access to it. They can download it straight away. On top of that, all you need to do is pay a simple 5% fee on top of your transaction fee. So it doesn't cost anything upfront to get started with this. And it's a really simple and easy way to start selling digital products online, especially if you don't have a ton of money to start off with. 
Now, another thing you can do is actually look for a marketplace which sells a, a specific type of product you're selling. For example, if you're writing eBooks, you can make it a Kindle book to sell on Amazon. If you sell design templates, Creative Market and a bunch of other places like, like it are available for you to sell on and you don't have to be uh, too concerned with advertising, although it does help a lot to advertise. And even selling stock photos on Shutterstock or artwork can help there. So look for a marketplace where you can sell the product you're selling if you don't want to set up your own store or your own sort of product page. Now some other options are simply if you're selling content and you want exclusive content, you can use something like Patreon so people pay a certain amount of money per month and you simply just create content that way. Or if you don't even want to create your own product, consider looking into affiliate marketing where you can find other people's products to sell where you simply have a link and anyone who goes through that link and buys, they then give you a commission for that sale. Now, the final step is you need to actually find a way to get people to know about the product. You need to market your product. So this could be things such as social media or content marketing such as YouTube or a blog where you can do paid ads. But what I recommend is setting up an email list. So the idea is you create a free lead magnet that people get access to when they sign up for your email list. You can then set up a series of emails that go out automatically after they've signed up over a period of time and about the sixth or seventh email, you simply pitch your product to them, tell them about the benefits, and that way they get an idea of what's coming and they get used to you before you try and sell something to them. You can do that with something like MailChimp or ConvertKit. I'll pop links to those in the description below. But that is a great way to get people to buy from you because you get a chance to sort of build a little bit of a relationship with them. So you do need to market that product, get the word out there so that people know your product exists. Otherwise, no one's going to buy it. Okay, so those are the basics on how to get started selling a digital product. All you need to do is actually get started. Go through these steps, figure out what it is you want to sell, find a way to sell it, and then get the word out there. And in no time, you should be able to start trying to build a passive income. And the good thing about digital products is if you do something that you don't think is going to work, you can simply drop it, move on to the next one, and try a few ideas before you finish up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like and any sort of thoughts or questions, leave a comment below. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.